Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna keep working on my Shizu head series. This Shizu head, instead of using clipper guards, we are gonna completely hand scissor this. Now, if he was getting a haircut all over his body, I would probably use a clipper guard. But anyway, it's just easier for me to get everything blended in the way I want it if I don't use a clipper guard. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to use my Utsumi Half Moon Comb. Now, I went ahead and shaved a little bit in between the eyes here because he gets some really nasty eye goobers um, and they were kind of like dried on there. So just to get those off really well, I went ahead and just took in between with a 15. Um, but I just didn't really like press down on it. I didn't want uh, that like really harsh clipper look. So anyway, I'm just gonna go in between the eyes. He did have some matting in his little mustache area, so if you notice around his muzzle looks a little thin, that's why. We need to trim a little bit out of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush him on both sides. Okay, and I'm gonna just brush up one more time. I wanna get a lot of this stuff underneath the eyes here that's so nasty and wet looking because he, um, his eyes just run like crazy. So get this stuff out here. Just gonna brush. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the visor. I always go in between the eyes and then we work on the visor. I'm actually gonna get this stuff in between the eyes here. Trim down a little bit before we go in. Brush it all forward. A little tangle right there. Okay. Just like so. We're gonna take our curve. Let's go right around. all forward one more time. Make sure there's nothing we missed. Actually it looks pretty good so I'm just going to start to angle it up this time. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do since he's kind of poodly we can kind of fluff up the top of his head. Am I like Yorkies that I do so much? I can't really fluff up like that. I hear it's so fine. Um, and I'm just going to kind of hand scissor this in. I'm just holding on to his chin hair lightly so I can feel if he's going to try to move on me. And I just like to kind of scissor around, see if there's anything sticking out. You can kind of go back and forth if you want to. hand scissoring that's a little different than like the comb guard is like there's going to be more nitpicking involved. The comb guard kind of takes it all at once and everything's even whereas like the shears you may miss a little spot. So anyway I'm going to work on this little mouth now. Yeah. 
together. Same thing over here. Push it down, hold the spear up, connect everything. Okay. The brush forward. Hold his mouth closed. We don't want his tongue to come out while we're doing this. watch my video where I broke my thinning shear, I do have a new one on the way. So, I got something a little different. I, um, I don't know, I don't like feeling like I'm jam jamming any company down your throat. I feel like you guys get it with the fresh shears, like I like it. You guys can buy fresh and I think they make a good shear, especially their straight and curves. Um, but Anyway, I got something different. I think I'm gonna let it be a surprise. Okay. And just see a little more in between the eyes here, I wanna get. Good boy. You're a good boy, Otis. Let me flip you around and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's his little face. So that's all we did. Don't don't worry about the body. That's gonna be the, that's gonna be for me to do in a little bit. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show his little face, show some variety. You can see his head's a little bit different than the last Shizu. He doesn't have that middle part. He's got more of like a poodly top knot fluff. He's like, don't look. We can see you in the mirror. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.